Welcome to another informative video where you learn to save energy and money. Today's topic, energy saving tips for refrigerator. Now we all know how essential refrigerators are in our daily lives. They help keep our food fresh, our drinks cold, and even store our leftovers. But did you know that your refrigerator is also one of the most energy consuming appliances in your home? That's right folks, it's constantly running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, but don't fret. There are ways to make your refrigerator run more efficiently, and in turn save you some money. By applying the tips we're about to share in this video, you can reduce your refrigerator's energy consumption, lessen your carbon footprint, and save some green on your energy bills. So, ready to discover the top 10 energy-saving tips for your refrigerator? Let's dive in. First up, consider upgrading your appliance. If your refrigerator has been faithfully serving you for over 15 years, it might be time to retire the old champ. Why you ask? Well, older appliances often consume more energy than their modern counterparts. Upgrading to an Energy Star certified appliance can be a game changer. These appliances are designed to consume less energy, which means fewer units of electricity consumed. Think about it, lesser units consumed equates to a lower electricity bill every month. It's a win-win. You not only save money, but also contribute to a greener planet. It's important to remember that while the initial cost of an energy efficient refrigerator may be higher, the long-term savings on your electricity bills will be significant, so don't shy away from this investment. Remember, an energy-efficient refrigerator is an investment in your wallet and the planet. Tip number two is all about the gasket. Now you might be wondering, what's a gasket and why is it so important? Well, the gasket is the rubber seal that outlines your refrigerator door. Its primary job is to keep the cold air trapped inside the refrigerator maintaining the temperature and keeping your food fresh. But just like any other part of your refrigerator, the gasket can wear out over time. A faulty or worn out gasket won't seal properly and can lead to cold air escaping. This means your refrigerator will have to work harder to maintain the right temperature, using up more energy and hiking up your utility bills. So how do you check the gasket? It's simple. Close your refrigerator door on a thin piece of paper. If you can pull the paper out without any resistance it means your gasket isn't sealing properly and it's time for a replacement. Remember, replacing a faulty gasket is not just about keeping your food fresh, it's also about energy efficiency. A simple gasket check now can save you energy and money in the long run. Our third energy saving tip is about the location of your refrigerator. Now you might not give much thought to where your fridge sits in your kitchen, but it can make a significant difference in its energy consumption. How so? Well, if your refrigerator is near heat sources like an oven, a dishwasher, or even in direct sunlight, it has to work harder to keep cool. Here's the science behind it. A heat source raises the ambient temperature around the fridge. The fridge, in its zeal to maintain its internal temperature, revs up its compressor to combat the additional heat. This extra work translates into higher energy usage. It's like running a marathon on a hot summer day. You'll need a lot more water to stay hydrated, right? Similarly, your fridge needs extra energy to cool down when it's near a heat source. So, consider the geography of your kitchen. If possible, shift your refrigerator away from heat sources. It might seem like a small change, but it can lead to noticeable savings on your energy bills. So, give your fridge a cooler spot, and it will return the favor with lower energy bills. Tip number four is a clean act. Clean the condenser coils. Now you might be wondering, why is it so important? Well, when these coils get dirty, they can't release heat as effectively. This means your refrigerator has to work harder and use more energy to maintain its cool temperature. So, how do you clean these coils? It's simpler than you think. First, unplug your refrigerator to ensure safety. Then get a coil brush or a vacuum with a brush attachment. Use these tools to gently clean the coils, removing dust and other debris. But be cautious, these coils can be delicate. You don't want to damage them during your cleaning process. Do this regularly and you'll keep your refrigerator running smoothly and efficiently. Remember a clean fridge is an efficient fridge. Our fifth energy saving tip is about leftovers. Leftovers, we all have them. But did you know that by simply allowing them to cool before placing them in the refrigerator, you can save on energy? That's right. When you place hot or warm food in the fridge, it raises the overall temperature inside. In response, your refrigerator has to work harder, using more energy, to bring that temperature back down. This not only increases your energy consumption, but also puts additional strain on your refrigerator, potentially shortening its lifespan. So, next time you have a leftover lasagna or a pot of soup, don't rush it into the fridge. Let it cool down at room temperature first, 
But remember, don't leave it out for too long as that could lead to bacterial growth. A general rule of thumb is to allow food to cool for about two hours before refrigerating. So, let your food chill out before it hits the fridge. Your energy bill will thank you. Tip number six is a simple one. Minimize opening the refrigerator door. Now, you might be wondering, why does that matter? Well, every time you open that fridge door, you're letting out all the cool air, and your refrigerator has to work harder to bring the temperature back down. This can cause a significant spike in energy consumption, especially if you're in the habit of standing with the door wide open while you decide what you want. It's like leaving the AC on with your windows open on a hot summer day. And it's not just about the energy bills. Overworking your refrigerator can also shorten its lifespan. So, the next time you reach for that fridge door, try to know exactly what you're after. Maybe even plan your meals in advance to limit how often you need to open the door. Think before you open and save energy with every close. Our seventh tip is for the organized minds out there. Organize your refrigerator. This might seem like a no-brainer, but a well-organized fridge can do wonders for your energy efficiency. How you ask? Well, when your fridge is organized, you can quickly grab what you need and close the door, reducing the time the door is open and limiting warm air from entering. This means your fridge doesn't have to work overtime to cool down again. Think about it. How many times have you stood there with the fridge door wide open, scanning the shelves for that jar of pickles? By keeping things orderly, you know exactly where everything is, which saves you time and saves your fridge energy. Plus, an organized fridge also allows for better airflow, which means the appliance can cool more efficiently. So, take a little time to sort your items. It's a small step that can lead to significant savings. An organized fridge isn't just pleasing to the eye, it's pleasing to your energy bill too. Tip number 8 is all about the right temperature. While it may seem like a minor detail, setting your refrigerator and freezer to the correct temperature can significantly contribute to energy conservation. So what's the magic number? Ideally, your refrigerator should be humming along at a cool 36 to 38 degrees Fahrenheit. This ensures your food stays fresh without turning your fridge into an energy-guzzling icebox. As for the freezer, aim for a brisk 0 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything colder is unnecessary and only serves to hike up your energy bill. This simple adjustment can lead to substantial savings over time, not to mention it's kinder to the environment. So, don't underestimate the power of proper temperature control. Remember the right temperature means the right energy savings. Our ninth tip is a frosty one. Regularly defrost your refrigerator. Now, you may be wondering why defrosting is important. Well, it's all about efficiency. When frost builds up in your refrigerator it acts like an unwanted guest who overstays their welcome. This frosty intruder makes your refrigerator work overtime, thereby consuming more energy. And that's something we don't want, right? But how often should you defrost? A good rule of thumb is to defrost your refrigerator whenever the frost buildup reaches one quarter of an inch. This will ensure your refrigerator runs smoothly and efficiently. And remember, a happy fridge is a frost-free fridge. Defrosting may seem like a chore but it's a small step that can lead to significant energy savings in the long run. So, don't let frost build up. Take control and defrost your refrigerator regularly. A little effort can go a long way in conserving energy and saving on those electricity bills. Defrost regularly and watch your energy consumption melt away. Our final tip is a green one. Consider recycling old appliances. It's not just about upgrading to a more efficient model, it's also about responsibly discarding the old one. When we recycle old appliances, we're preventing them from ending up in a landfill where they can cause environmental harm. Plus, many components of these appliances like metal, plastic, and glass can be reprocessed into new products. This reduces the need to extract and process raw materials, saving a lot of energy in the process. But let's not stop there. When buying a new appliance, consider ones that are ENERGY STAR rated. These appliances are designed to use less energy without sacrificing performance or convenience. They're a win for your wallet and for our planet. And the best part? There are often programs and incentives available to help offset the cost of these energy-efficient appliances. So, you're not only helping the environment but you're also likely to save some money in the long run. Remember, recycling isn't just good for the planet, it's good for your energy bill too. And there you have it, 10 energy-saving tips for your refrigerator. Let's recap, shall we? We started with the idea of upgrading your appliance if it's over 15 years old. We moved on to checking and replacing the gasket, keeping your fridge away from heat sources and the importance of cleaning those condenser coils. We emphasized allowing leftovers to cool before refrigeration, minimizing door opening and the art of organizing the interior. 
we discussed setting the correct temperature and the need for regular defrosting. Finally, we touched upon the concept of recycling old appliances. By following these tips, you can significantly improve the energy efficiency of your fridge, which can lead to some serious savings on your energy bills. Remember, every little step towards energy conservation counts, and together, we can make a huge impact. Share this video with friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more energy-saving tips. Together, we can make a difference.